In this video we will pay tribute to the members of the Commodores who have passed away. The Commodores was formed in 1968 at Tuskegee University, Alabama. The Commodores rose to fame in the 1970s as a seven-member band with a unique blend of funk, soulful harmonies, and captivating performances. They achieved massive success with hits like Brick House, Easy, and Three Times a Lady. The notable band members were Lionel Richie, Thomas McClary, Sheldon Reynolds, Walter Clyde Orange, James Dean Nicholas, Skylar Jett, Ronald Lopred William King and Milan Williams. Before we get into the video, give us a like and comment. Sheldon Reynolds The talented musician Sheldon Reynolds, who was a significant part of the legendary band, The Commodores. Before we begin, let's provide some context for those who may be unfamiliar with Sheldon Reynolds. Born on November 27, 1953, in Chicago, Illinois, Sheldon Reynolds was a gifted guitarist, vocalist, and songwriter. He joined the Commodores in 1984 during a transitional period for the band. Let's explore his impact on the Commodores' music and career. Prior to his time with the Commodores, Sheldon Reynolds had already established himself as a skilled musician. He had worked with notable artists such as Earth, Wind and Fire and had been a member of the funk group Sunday. However, it was in 1984 that Sheldon's path crossed with the Commodores. Sheldon Reynolds joined the Commodores as a guitarist and vocalist, bringing fresh energy and creativity to the band. His versatile guitar skills and soulful voice perfectly complemented the group's evolving sound. During his time with the Commodores, Sheldon contributed to the writing and recording of their music, adding his unique touch to their repertoire. One of the notable songs that showcased Sheldon Reynolds' talent as a songwriter and performer is Night Shift. Released in 1985, Night Shift was a heartfelt tribute to two music legends, Marvin Gaye and Jackie Wilson, who had passed away. The song earned the Commodores a Grammy Award for Best R&B Performance by a duo or group with vocals. Sheldon Reynolds' guitar playing was also prominently featured in the Commodores' live performances and recordings during his tenure with the band. His distinctive style added a new dimension to their music, captivating audiences around the world. After leaving the Commodores in 1993, Sheldon Reynolds continued to make significant contributions to the music industry. He pursued a successful solo career and collaborated with various artists across different genres. Additionally, Sheldon dedicated himself to philanthropic work, using his platform to support charitable causes. Tragically, Sheldon Reynolds passed away on December 3, 2020, leaving behind a legacy that will always be remembered. Milan Williams he was the keyboardist and musical arranger of the iconic band, The Commodores born on March 28, 1948, in Ocalona, Mississippi, Milan Williams was a gifted musician known for his exceptional skills on the keyboard. He played a crucial role in shaping the sound of the Commodores during their heyday. Milan Williams' musical journey began at an early age, as he displayed a natural aptitude for playing the keyboard. In the late 1960s, Milan crossed paths with other talented musicians at Tuskegee University in Alabama, where the Commodores were formed. Recognizing his immense talent, Milan became a founding member of the band. Milan's proficiency on the keyboard brought a unique element to the Commodores' music. He seamlessly blended various genres, including funk, R&B, and soul, into their distinctive sound. Milan's intricate and melodic arrangements helped define the band's identity and played a significant role in their rise to stardom. He co-wrote many of the Commodore's biggest hits, including the timeless classic Brick House. After departing from the Commodore's in 1989, Milan Williams continued to contribute to the music industry in various capacities. He pursued a successful career as a solo artist, releasing his own albums and collaborating with other musicians. Tragically, Milan Williams passed away on July 9, 2006, at the age of 58. However, his musical legacy lives on, and his impact on the Commodore's sound and the broader music landscape cannot be overstated. Milan Williams will always be remembered as the keyboard maestro whose contributions helped shape the Commodores into one of the most influential bands of their time. Members who are still alive Lionel Richie Lionel Richie was the lead vocalist, and one of the founding members of the Commodores. Lionel Richie's soulful voice and songwriting prowess contributed greatly to the band's success. After leaving the group in 1982, Lionel Richie embarked on an immensely successful solo career, achieving chart-topping hits and becoming a music icon in his own right. While Lionel Richie is alive and well, we honor his contributions to the Commodores as we remember the band's earlier years. Walter Clyde Orange He was the drummer and vocalist of the Commodores. 
Clyde's energetic drumming and soulful vocals were instrumental in the band's success. Even after the departure of Lionel Richie, Clyde's powerful voice became a focal point of the group's sound. He continues to be an active member of the Commodores and carries on their legacy with every performance. Thomas McClary Thomas McClary was another talented musician who played a significant role in the Commodores' success. As the band's rhythm guitarist, Thomas contributed to their distinctive sound and co-wrote several hit songs. After leaving the group in 1984, he pursued a solo career and continued to make music. Today, we remember Thomas McClary and the mark he left on the Commodore's musical journey. William King William King, also known as Willie, played a pivotal role in the Commodore's as a trumpeter and flugelhorn player. His brass contributions added a vibrant and dynamic element to their music. Additionally, William King's stage presence and showmanship were integral to the Commodore's electrifying performances. James Dean Nicholas James Dean Nicholas, also known as J.D., joined the Commodores in the late 1970s as a guitarist and vocalist. His skills on the guitar and harmonies blended seamlessly with the band's soulful sound. J.D. brought a fresh energy to the group and was a crucial part of their live performances and studio recordings. Skylar Jett Skylar Jett joined the Commodores as a vocalist in the mid-1980s. His powerful and soulful voice harmonized beautifully with the band's sound. Skyler's vocal range and versatility allowed him to contribute to the Commodore's evolving musical style during his time with the group. Ronald Lopred Ronald Lopred, the bassist of the Commodore's, was known for his groovy bass lines that became a signature element of the band's sound. Ronald played an essential role in shaping their funk-infused rhythm section. While Ronald is no longer part of the Commodore's, his talent and contributions will always be remembered. Who was your favorite artist from the Commodore's? Like, comment and subscribe, see you on the next video.